I don't even know what is wrong with this Josiah Seth. Always being stupid for no reason. How could he leave me here in his mother's house to stay alone? And this woman is very annoying. I can't wait to leave this house. Let me call Pamela. Maybe she can advise me on what to do. Hello? Babe, what's up? I day okay. Are you busy? No, I'm not. Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. In fact, I am angry. What is the problem this time? I hope it's not about Mama. It would have even been better if it was Mama. So who got you angry? Tell me, let me come there and deal with that person. Is it not Josiah's mother? Ever since I got here, she has been ordering me around as if I am a maid. You are staying with Josiah's mother? Didn't I tell you? I came here since yesterday. I don't like this place at all. What about Josiah? That is even why I'm angry. He brought me here to suffer alone. But that is not suffering now. He just wants you to get to know his mother and vice versa. I don't like it at all. She talks too much. Maltreat me for what? Do I look like a child? Can you imagine? She made it a must for me to follow her to church yesterday. I just hate this place. Does she maltreat you? Exactly. If she is not maltreating you, then you don't have to complain. So what is wrong with her taking you to church? Naomi, you are lucky to find a man and a mother-in-law that accepts you into her house. Don't ruin this great opportunity you have because of pride. This one is not about pride. This woman doesn't give me a breathing space. I came here just yesterday and I am already tired of staying here. Have you heard from your fiancé? He called me this morning but I refused to pick. I am still very angry with him for what he did yesterday. I know you won't see anything wrong in what he did. You rarely take my side. Instead, you will support strangers and neglect me. Of course it is true. I am your twin sister, but you don't treat me as one. I haven't seen anything wrong in what he did. Haba, you know that is not true. The truth is, I can't support you when you are wrong. Instead, I will correct you. You are not passing through anything. Stay with her and learn good manners. I just told you what I am passing through. Calling you was a waste of time. Whatever. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, my son. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How is my daughter doing? Oh, don't worry about that, ma'am. Naomi is fine. When will she be back? She'll be back in a week time. Didn't she tell you when she'll be back? She didn't tell me when she left. I asked her in the car and she told me you were the one that packed her stuffs. No, I wasn't at home when she left. I went to women's rally in church. When I got back the next day, I didn't see her. I called her but she refused to pick. So I called her sister in Ghana and she confirmed she went to visit your mom. Oh my God. I don't really know what's wrong with that girl. Although she told me she would visit your mom, she didn't tell me the exact day. I'm sorry about that, mom. Maybe she forgot. Is she always like that towards you? Yes, we don't have a good mother and daughter relationship, but her sister is very different. That's sad. How many years have you been with her? It's not up to a year. It's just three months. Three months? That's too short for you both to plan marriage. I love your daughter so much and I can't wait. At least get to know her first. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. Are you sure you are ready to endure whatever she does to you? Mama, there is nothing more to know about her. I know everything about her already. And I'm ready to endure all her flaws. Naomi is a proud woman. She wants everyone to bow at her feet and lick her toes because she is rich. I feel for you, my son. You are a nice person and you deserve better. I understand your concern, Mama. And I'm grateful. But nobody is perfect. I believe she will change when the time comes. I pray so too. What can I offer you? No, don't worry yourself. I'm okay. No, I can't let you visit me and go back without taking anything. Okay then, if you insist. I insist. Good morning, my daughter. Good morning, Mrs. Comfort. I hope you slept well. Yeah, I did. That's nice. Um, Naomi, please, I'll be going to sweep the church this morning. Please, endeavor to clean the house because it's so dirty. 
and I promise to get you something when I get back, okay? Can I ask you a question, Mrs. Comfort? Okay, my dear, go ahead. Is it really compulsory for you to go to church this morning? Why did you ask? Just answer my question, please. No, it's not compulsory, but I made it compulsory for myself. If it's not compulsory, please stay back. I don't understand. Stay back for what? Madam, stay back. Let us clean the house together. What is that supposed to mean? Do you expect me to clean the house for you to stay? Eh, so you expect me to clean the house for you to stay? If I had a daughter, she would have been the one to do the house chores. Now that I have you as my daughter, you will be the one to do the chores. I am not your daughter. Stop being desperate. Allow me to marry your son first before you call me your daughter. Is this how you are? Yes, so madam, this is how I am. You cannot turn me to a slave just because I want to marry your son. You need serious home training. Right from the time you walk into this house, I knew you were just a pretender. Yes, so I even tried to pretend safe. All the time you sent me on an errand, I kept quiet and continued pretending. Madam, I am tired. I cannot pretend again. So this is what my son will marry into this house. This one will give my son bad luck for the rest of his life. Really? Just because I refuse to do your house chores? <laughs> Old women and their low mentality. I don't even know what my son saw in you. You lack manners. Call me whatever you want. That will not change anything. The fact is that I will not do this house chores alone. Anyway, I'm off to church. See, eh? let me tell you, if you go to church, just know that you will come back and see this house like that. Hey, boo. My princess, thank you for coming to see me. You don't have to thank me. I missed you. That is why I came out. I missed you too. I hope you will join me to my house when we are done here. I should join you up to your house to do what? Don't sound like that. I don't want you to come and do anything in my house. Better. They don't talk about it. Please don't think otherwise. I just want to spend more time with you there. But here yeah, it's okay for us to spend time, isn't it? Are we always going to meet here? Yes, now. I can't follow you to your house, seriously. I wonder what you are afraid of. I don't feel comfortable coming to your house. It's alright. I won't force you. Call the waiter. Waiter, please come. Welcome, sir and madam. How are you doing? I am fine, thank you, sir. Um, can I get a plate of fried rice, chicken and chips and a bottle of wine? A bottle of wine for what? What's now? Don't you want to drink wine? No, I just need a bottle of water. In fact, I don't need water. No, I want you to drink wine today. I'm tired of seeing you drink water. Your wish is my command. Okay. Um, so Mr. Waiter, get me a plate of fried rice, chicken and chips, and a bottle of wine. Please, ma. What type of wine? Just bring any wine you have. Okay. I'll be back. Oh, I forgot to order something else. What else do you want to order? Some takeaways for my friend in the house. Is that really necessary? Yes, I promised them I was going to get something for them on my way back. Give me your phone, let me type in a number for you. In case you call and I don't speak. You can call the number anytime. Whose number is that? It is my number. It's in my second phone. So what about this phone you are using? I won't be using it for some time. Good morning, Mom. Sit down. I have something very important to discuss with you. Mom, is everything okay? Everything is not okay. Everything is not okay. Where and how did you meet this girl? Which girl? Naomi, of course. Mom, what is the problem? I think she will not make a good wife. You haven't told me what the problem is. She is not a saint. She lacks home training. I don't need a saint, Mom. 
You don't understand what I'm trying to say. She is too disrespectful. I understand you. But you don't have to jump to conclusions yet. Naomi is a very nice girl. You are not listening to me. I know what I'm saying. She has refused to do anything since she came to this house. I've been the one cleaning and cooking. Don't worry, I'll talk to her. This is not talking matter. Oh. She is so rude and disrespectful. She talks to me anyhow she likes. Mom, I know how you feel right now. But you don't have to conclude yet. You haven't even been with her up to a week yet. I can't stay with her for a week. I want her out of my house today. No, Mom. Don't talk like that. You don't have to conclude about her character. I'm not concluding. This is what I have experienced. I love this girl so much, and I want you to love her too. You know I have always told you I will accept whoever you bring as a wife. This one is just out of it. I know. I know how Naomi behaves. You just give her time. You will like her. What has she given you to eat? Because I don't understand this kind of love. I'm telling you what I have seen in this girl. I've also seen the same thing. Let her stay with you until the one week is over. I'm only tolerating her because of you. I know, I promise you that she will change. If you say so. Where is she right now? Maybe she is in her room. Let me check on her. Okay.